Congratulations to the Mangosuthu University of Technology students, the staff, the parents, the stakeholders and friends who are all here to see you graduate. It is my honour to officiate this virtual graduation ceremony of the class of 2021. You may have missed the joy that comes with walking up the stage and officially receiving your hard-earned qualification, but rest assured that your achievement and hard work will be celebrated by many of us at MUT, your family and your friends as well. By virtue of the authority vested in me as Chancellor, I constitute this congregation of Mangosuthu University of Technology. San Bonani, good morning. This year, we again find ourselves in a predicament similar to the one of 2020, as we are unable to meet and jointly celebrate the achievements of the graduation class of 2021. Nature has once again robbed you of a great opportunity to reunite with your friends and classmates to celebrate your achievements. We truly miss the ululating of your parents, your stylish outfits, and runway hawks as you get kept by the chancellor and you also get roped by the registrar. Personally, I miss the part when I shake your hands and you join me at the end of the graduation ceremony to do your last dance to the tune of Siobalanda. These are memories that must remind us all that graduation ceremonies are a high moment in the academy. However, the new normal enjoins us to remember that protecting life is more important than the ritual of a physical graduation ceremony. Nonetheless, I wish to congratulate you on your achievement. You made it against all odds. You were the first class to graduate after a year of limited physical contact, as most of your lectures were online. Faced with this challenge, you soon adapted and look where you are now. When we said we were going to save the academic year and save lives, this is what we meant. We wanted to see you graduate and be with us in this August occasion. Despite your graduation being virtual, the fact of the matter is that your certificate will be yours forever. It is your entry into the world of work and business. It is your advancement in the world of work if this is your second or third qualification. It is your sense of pride, your legacy to future generations. It is above all, your demonstration of perseverance under very difficult circumstances occasioned by COVID-19. It is an achievement that will always strengthen your resolve in life to always do better. We are grateful for your spirit and we appreciate the support that everyone gave you. Your lecturers, your parents, your friends and relations. Between last year's uh, virtual graduation and this one, we have graduated close to 6,000 students. You are all graduating at a time when job losses are on the rise. Unemployment is rife and social distancing measures are still in place which means that no new jobs are forthcoming. This should not dissuade you, for this is the age of innovation. This is the age of creativity. This is the time to use your skills to venture into business and various kinds of entrepreneurship. I was particularly pleased to read in Ilanga newspaper about a family whose children have started a farming business. One of those children is an MUT civil engineering graduate, Tlonipani Lamini. This is what we have been urging our students to do, to create their own businesses 
rather than constantly think of being an employee. There may be no jobs out there, but there is plenty of work if you think of work as an opportunity to solve society's problems. This is what entrepreneurs do. They look for problems to solve, and by so doing, they create work for themselves while also benefiting society. We want you to be a work seeker, not a job seeker. We want you to be a problem solver, not a problem creator. Become an entrepreneur and so be a blessing to yourself, your family and your community. I look forward to hearing more stories about MUT graduates' entrepreneurial pursuits. As you celebrate your achievements, please do not fall into the trap of ignoring COVID-19 protocols. We are where we are today because of compliance. Please do not let your guard down. May the good Lord protect you and your family and may you be abundantly blessed as you venture into the future. Congratulations once again and thank you for your attention. I declare that the candidates whose names appear on the program have complied with the requirements of the award of the diplomas and degrees.
stay focused. You are going to be facing difficulties out there in the world. Always remember. Greetings to everyone. Welcome to the MUT To graduate in your chosen field, it's a wonderful achievement of which you should be very proud of. Congratulations on persevering and getting to this day. But as I am sure you have been told many times that this is not the end, you must still soldier on. Education is a right and should not be thought of as ending as you celebrate today's achievement. Hopefully, you will continue with the education process for the rest of your life. Greetings, fellow graduates. My name is Sandile Zamini, the president of Convocation, Mangosuthu University of Technology. I would like to congratulate you on your graduation. You have worked hard for this. You have earned it. I'd like to congratulate you and wish you all the best in your new endeavors. Also, I'd like to welcome you to the convocation of Mangosutu University of Technology. This is your home, your alma mater. Never ever look back, stay focused. You are going to be facing difficulties out there in the world. Always remember your home, come back home. That's where most of your help you'll find. We want to work with you wherever you'll be, wherever you're going. We are with you, we love you. Welcome to the MUT Convocation. Once again, to all the students, congratulations most heartily from me. Therefore, by virtue of the authority vested in me as the Chancellor, I hereby dissolve this congregation of Mangosutu University of Technology. Again, congratulations to all of you. <laughs> Yeah.